Okay, perfect. I guess we can move on to PSP. We saw this type of behavior before when your classification network is going to confuse categories. For instance, it's reporting that sometimes this is a skyscraper and sometimes it's a building, but the ground truth is that it's just a skyscraper. These are big objects, and sometimes it's going to confuse small objects because you have fixed receptive fields when it comes to convolutions. There is also this mismatch relation. For instance, putting a car on the river, which shouldn't happen. It's because your neural network is not taking into account the global context of the picture. This is a nice data set to work with. It's pretty big. It has a lot of classes, objects, and stuff. Objects are airport terminal, bedroom, street, these sorts of classes and stuff. If you hear them, are just wall, sky, tree. And what is the solution here? There are multiple solutions. One of them is when you're pulling in the layer that you have to do the pulling, one time, pull the entire picture or pull the entire feature map into a single vector. Another time, uh, divide your input feature map into four sub feature maps and then pull them separately. And then do this nine times or even more. And then push them through a convolution one by one so that they have your computational expense doesn't grow and then concatenate them and then do your prediction. That's one solution. In addition, you're going to have, because this is going to end up being a deep neural network, you can supervise your neural network at one of these layers. You can have a branching head predicting the corresponding classes per pixel and write down your cross entropy loss. And then this way, the gradients are flowing even backward to the earlier layers of your neural network. This was the big picture. Any questions about it? And if you remember, we have started this course by saying that for deep learning, data is the source code. And at the same time, data is going to tell you what type of neural network you need to come up with, what type of model you need to write down. You look at the mistakes of your model and try to debug them on your data and modify your architecture accordingly. And you need to be smart. The architecture engineering is a lot of trial and error and a lot of intuition. And that depends on the data, on the task. So about this loss, there is a question, can you talk about it? It's exactly similar to the loss that you're going to put at the end of your neural network. And it's going to do per pixel prediction or it's per pixel cross entropy you are maximizing the likelihood of these pixels being classified correctly. You have the same one here, same loss, but before you can actually write that loss, you need to make sure that you upsample to the resolution of your image. And you can do that with a simple uh, bilinear upsampling. Does that answer your question? Okay, perfect.